All right, cool. We're making some great progress here. I'm soon going to be adding some images to our scene, but before I can do that, I wanna make sure that my scene stays organized. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna to go to File, Project Window, and I'm gonna create a new, um, if I go to New, I'm gonna call this Snowman. I'll save it to the desktop, or I could choose where I wanna save it right here. And then I'm gonna leave all of these filled in like this, and then click Accept. And what that just did is it created a new folder called Snowman. And I can see right here. And if I open it up, it automatically created all these folders. Now, you might be asking, well, why did we have all these folders? Well, one thing, this um, image here of a snowflake is one of the images that I want to incorporate into the scene. And now I can go into source images and I can drag that in here. That way, everything that I need for this scene is going to be housed in these folders here. So let's say if I wanted um, sound effects or something along those lines, I could put those in the appropriate folder. And also when I save the scene, um, it's gonna be saved in the scenes file. So now watch this. So if I look at scenes now, nothing is in there. But now if I go to file, save scene as, this pops up and I can see that it's saving in desktop snowman, which is my snowman folder in the scenes. So I'm gonna call this snowman underscore 001, save as. And if we look in my snowman project folder, I can see that it's saved in there. So n now I have the whole scene itself, but also in source images, I have the snowflake. So that means that if you wanted to transfer this whole scene to another computer, instead of like trying to find where all the files are located, you could just grab the snowman project file and then copy that to like your flash drive and bring it to another computer because it has everything associated with this scene is housed in these particular folders, okay? The other thing that I should mention is that if you're gonna open the scene from that file, what I'm just gonna go file, new scene. What I would wanna do is this. I'm gonna to go to, so I would open up Maya and I would just open up Maya clean. And then I would go to file. The first thing I would do is go to set project. And if I go to set project, it's gonna say, hey, where is the project that you're concerned with? Well, I know it's on the desktop and I know it's called Snowman. So I'm gonna click on that, and I'm gonna open it until I see all the folders, and then I'm gonna say, yes, that looks good, and I'm gonna click Set. Now, that told Maya that all the important files are considered in that folder called Snowman. So now, if I go to File, Open Scene, now it knows to look in the Snowman folder. So I'm gonna click on this, click Open, and I wanna make sure that I click don't save here because what it's asking is, hey, do you wanna save this empty scene? Okay, obviously I don't, so I'm gonna click on don't save. And now there it is, okay? So that is the project folder. Um, and now every time I wanna save it, I can just go uh, save scene or save scene as, and I don't need to create a new projects folder. I only need to create the project folder once and now every time I save it, it's gonna go in the right spot. Anytime I have a texture or a file, I'm gonna put it in the correct folder, and that's it. Okay, so it's very important that we have clean file structure uh, from the beginning, and if I go into source images, this is going to be the first file that we're gonna be incorporating into our scene. And I can see that I already have it in the Snowman's Projects folder. All right. So it looks like we're organized to add that snowflake on the next lesson.